I'm Christopher Brown, and I'll be doing Phil from Voice Life. I would have destroyed myself for this woman. Gladly. I would have eaten garbage. I would have sliced my wrists open under the right circumstances. I mean, if she said, hey, Phil, why don't you come slice your wrists open? I mean, I don't know, but if she seriously needed me to slice my wrists open, I think we just, we clicked on so many things. Right off the bat, we talked about God for three hours once, and shit, I don't know what good it did, but that intensity, do you know what I'm saying? And, and the first time we went to bed together, I didn't even touch her. I didn't want to. You know, and, and I played it cool because, okay, I've had some rough experiences. I know. I'm the first one to admit it, but after a few weeks, you can tell that we were right there. So, so I laid it down on the line, okay? And I said everything that I wanted to say. And she goes to me, she goes, Phil, no one should ever meet another person that badly. Do you believe that? I spill my heart out on the table for you, and, 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 and you give me some fucking Dr. Joyce brothers. Need? Need. I, I'm saying I love you, dude. Is that wrong? Is that not allowed anymore? Okay, I needed you. Crucify me. So what? I don't want to be by myself. I'm, I'm by myself. I feel like I'm going out of my fucking mind. I do. I sit there and I think, <laughs> forget it. I'm not going to make it to the next 10 seconds of my life, but then I do. I do. I make it. And then I have to do it all over again because they just keep coming, all these seconds floating about while I'm just sitting here waiting for something to happen. God, I don't know what. A nuclear war, a fucking car crash. God, that sounds awful. <laughs> but at least there'd be that second where I know I was alive, right? 